if you're going to invest, you need to understand that there's a way to invest where the money can actually grow tax-free. Now, if you've never heard of investing, you should understand and look at there's a traditional IRA and there's a Roth option. Typically, by now, you can get traditional and Roth options every time. And Roth simply means that the money is growing tax-free. Now, if you make average income is 62000 or less, a simple Roth IRA will help you suffice because I understand that your money, you may not be able to deposit seven, $800 every month to invest, but you could do two, three, $400. And if you're out of debt, that just makes it a lot easier. But to understand the Roth IRA, you put the money in an investment firm, in an investment account, a Roth IRA, you open up Roth IRA with Fidelity, Charles Schwab, Vanguard, those are great investment firms that can help you on your investment journey. But you open up the Roth IRA, you transfer money in out of your checking or savings account. It sits in a holding account there at at the financial institution, the investment firm. You're not done yet. You then have to go to the investment firm and you have to log on and actually buy what I suggest, an index fund, S&P 500, total stock market index fund, either would suffice because they've grown on average, 10% for the last 50 years. That is the beginner way to invest. And the hardest part about that is setting up the account. The second thing you can do is, if you've been working at a job for any amount of time, you may have been putting into your 401k. And if you make 60,000 or less, I would suggest you get with your CPA because if you've left that job and you now have 401k funds, they're likely in a traditional IRA. Remember, Roth means tax-free, traditional means you'll be subject to income tax guidelines, normal income withdrawal. But the second way you can grow that money tax-free is you can simply take that money that's in the traditional IRA and do what's called a Roth conversion. See, when you make a certain amount of income, you already meet certain thresholds to where you can transfer that money out of the traditional and change it to a Roth. And that way, wherever you're at, you can continue growing that money tax-free. It's important that you understand these options because the point of all this is once you get all your money tax-free and it's growing and that compound interest really kicks in, when you go to withdraw, you don't have to worry about taxes. You don't have to worry about anything. You can just simply enjoy. But the best part about doing it early is because you you set yourself up for just tax-free compound growth. That's the goal of all this. You want to be able to enjoy your wealth. Now, you can still enjoy your wealth. If you have $10 million and you have to pay $100,000 every year through income tax, that's not a bad situation. You're not doing anything wrong. But what we're saying, or what I'm saying is, if you start some of these behaviors and some of these skills and making some of these choices early, you can enjoy or have a lot more money to enjoy. This is how you set yourself up to success. The important thing is you have to understand that Roth IRA means tax-free growth. Last thing I want to say is not only can you enjoy this, but your kids can enjoy it. See, if a person, if anybody who makes an earned income does a files or tax return, can deposit into a Roth IRA. And when, that applies to kids. So if your kid is doing some work, whether it be babysitting or they have a job where they're working, the fact is you just simply need to file a tax return on them. That won't impact your ability to claim them on your taxes because we know there's benefits that way. But if you filing that tax return allows them access to actually open up that Roth IRA. The thing about when you open up a custodial Roth IRA for your child is you actually have to get with a financial advisor to get the paperwork and it's a little bit more steps to open that up. But the point of all this is being once you set it up, you have an option to actually grow for your child tax-free. The other option for your kid is you can use a 529 now and any funds that you don't actually use for the 529, you could convert that in the child's name to a Roth IRA. Now, 529 grows tax-free, but this money is used for college. The other benefit of a child 529 is it lowers your taxable income. So you got to lower your taxable income, your kid has money for college and it's growing in in an investment, and then whatever's left over gets to convert to a Roth. 
That was a recent change as of last year. These are ways that you can utilize to actually build wealth. I need you to understand this because you have the power to change your situation. Hi, my name is Jonathan. I want to help you build your wealth. A Roth IRA, tax-free, doesn't get any better than that. Follow me for more.